Hallelujah. All right. Well, Bishop's going to come and preach the Word of God tonight. And we are looking forward to it, brother. Praise the Lord. Amen. Everybody say, God bless, Brother Jonathan, Minister Jonathan Lemons. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a hand of clap of praise. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Everybody doing okay tonight? Hallelujah. Glad to be here. Glad to see your smiling faces. Hallelujah. You're smiling tonight, so thank God for that. Amen. It's a good thing. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is uh, so good, so awesome. I'm excited about the Word of God tonight. Hallelujah. Um, choir did a fantastic job, as usual. But I mean, whoo, Sister Christina, but they put out them oldie but goodies tonight. They are like, ooh, man. But anyway, praise God. Uh, I, just, I just thank God uh, for the church. Uh, thank God for the worship. Hallelujah. And I believe this Word. Um, it's going to be a blessing to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not uh, anything that you haven't heard before, but, you know, praise God, I'm going to do what the Lord told me to do. So uh, I, I believe it's going to bless you. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles, let's go to Psalm 100. Praise God. Uh, verses 1 through 5. Hallelujah. You have it. Say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise God. Just thank God for the opportunity. Uh, to be behind this uh, pulpit, this is uh, an honor, something I do not take lightly. Um, thank God for my spiritual father, a man I care uh, ex uh, very deeply about. Hallelujah. I thank God for the relationship um, that has been uh, cultivated with this man over years uh, of being under this man and uh, service, etc., etc. So that is something I do not take for granted. Hallelujah, Sister, uh, Sister Christina, as well, uh, my brothers and my sisters. Hallelujah, I love you. Hallelujah, I, I want you to know that uh, um, if you don't know, I love you. Hallelujah, and I, I, I'm not ashamed to tell you I love you. So I, I just thank God for it. Hallelujah. And you know, when, you, when, you, when you're close, you know, you got to go out there walk. Hallelujah, you got to go out there relationship. You, you got to go out there because the enemy would love nothing more to cause uh, disunity, especially among uh, leadership. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Some people don't have the good sense to know that you got to go at that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But anyway, yeah, that's that's yeah. not my message uh, tonight. But but anyway, I'm I'm thankful. Amen. Praise God. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. 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 But I, I believe the Word of God is going to be a blessing. I'm excited about it, and we're going to get right into it. Psalm 100 says, "Make a joyful noise unto the Lord." All ye lands. Hallelujah says, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Amen. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Yes. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Amen. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures to all generations. Somebody give the Lord a hand and clap of praise. Hallelujah, Lord God. We just thank you tonight, Lord God, for your awesome word. Mighty King of kings and Lord of lords, we thank you in advance, Lord God, for what you're going to do in this house, Lord God. We give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise in the awesome name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the awesome name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. The title of the message tonight is The Center of My Worship. The Center of My Worship. Pastor touch uh, very briefly on it. Um, I'm, you know, I'm looking for any uh, confirmation. But uh, one thing Pastor said today is that when we come up into this church house, we come to gather. When we are gathering here together, we are not uh, looking for a boyfriend. We are not here to look for a girlfriend. We are not here to see what the next fashion is or whatever the case may be. But when we gather here together, we are gathering to give him glory. Amen. Hallelujah. So the title of the message is the center of my worship, which lets, which lets you know I, I'm here. I'm not here for any other reason other than to give God glory. I'm not here for any other reason other than to praise and bless his holy name. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. 
So the Lord is the center of my worship. Praise God. That's one thing. You have to be careful these days. Uh, worship, you know, uh, worship is not true worship. You got some strange things going on in the, you know, so-called Church of America or whatever the case may be. You got some strange things going on. You got some, some strange fire going up. Hallelujah. But I just thank God there is government. There is order in this house, hallelujah. Because if I'm going to send up some praise, if I'm going to send up some worship, it has to be pure. Hallelujah. God just ain't going to accept anything. You just can't come to God any kind of way with any kind of worship. Hallelujah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, as I was studying this church, I'm going to get into it. But as I was studying this, it, it, there was, uh, I guess I could say, a righteous indignation uh, that got a hold of me. Um, um, as I was studying, you know, saw some churches and, and things of that nature, and, the, and their worship was, was off. The, their worship was strange. Hallelujah. And you have the, and you got the man of God. I'm going to say man of God, but anyway, you got the pastor of the church. You, you got the preacher of the church uh, promoting uh, secular music in the church. Hallelujah. And I'm looking at this, and I'm, I'm like, what in the world is going on? Right. Hallelujah. And he going just down the road. And, and then they actually played the music in the church. And you're talking about they praising and worshiping. How you going to praise and worship listening to Prince? You hear what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna, we're going to learn some things tonight. How you going to praise and worship and thank God is going to uh, accept that? That's, that's a strange thing. And y'all know who Prince is, right? Yeah. Hallelujah. You ain't been saying that long. We, we know who Prince is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So they put Prince on, and, and the church went crazy. Looked like they was at a nightclub. And they just sitting there. The, the platform, Pastor, the leaders on the platform. And man, I'm like, boy, they got a hold of me. I'm at my desk. I'm, I'm studying. I'm trying to get as much time in. I'm at my desk. Got customers coming up, and I'm just... Boy, I'm, they, they looking at me, they're like, oh, something wrong with Joshua. <laughs> but they didn't know I'm, I'm trying to prepare for a message, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And, and I saw this. Wow. And it grieved my spirit. Yes. Amen. And I say, the God we serve is a God that is holy. Amen. Yes. The, the God we serve is, is a God that is, is righteous. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, so it, it grieved my spirit. And, and man, I, I was hot. For a little while, I had to go outside, and I just couldn't believe it. That there is no reverence to the King of King and Lord of Lords. That there is no obeisance. There is Hallelujah. No, man, it, it just bothered me to say the least. And then when that song went out, he put on uh, some uh, some rap song in the church. Kids got up and they doing their little thing, and I'm looking at this. In the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the pastor in the pulpit and he's like yeah go ahead and talk about what he said he said getting crunk in the church and you got these knuckleheads down here dancing and all that and I say I don't know what you talking about because the God I serve is not going to accept that type of worship I don't know what you talking about but the God I serve is not going to accept that type of praise and I'm sitting there looking I'm saying don't these folks don't you understand that that is something that is not acceptable to God? Amen. But therefore, again, there, there's a standard. When you got a standard, hallelujah, people, people ain't gonna like that. Right. When it's a free-for-all, you're gonna have the you're gonna have the pews packed. Right. You're gonna have the pews full. When, it, when it's a free-for-all and you can do whatever you want to, right. dress any way you want to, and you don't play any kind of song in the church you want to, oh, yeah, they going to come. Uh -huh. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, they going to be there. But when the word of God goes forth in a pure way, they ain't going to be able to stand that. When the worship unto the living Lord Jesus goes forth, they ain't going to be able to uh, you know, uh, handle that. Because they so used to water down stuff. Hallelujah. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I don't want nothing watered down. I, I need something straight. I, I need something strong. So, so you can have that mess if you want to. And I'm looking at it. Okay, I'm trying to teach. Okay. But I'm looking at it. And that's the way the church world is going. 
When you don't take a when you don't take a stand for what's right. And I'm like, I can't believe this. And you got the elders of the church that should be saying something, that should be representing the kingdom of God to this young generation. They right there with them. So now you're gonna play print, you're gonna play prince in the church. You're gonna play some worldly rap song in the church, and then you're gonna stand up and, and preach the word of God. That's like oil and water. That don't mix. What are you going to tell them now? What, what kind of conviction you going to have now? What you going to preach to them now that they going to listen? You didn't just let me listen to Little Wayne in the church. You didn't just let me listen to, you know, Ja Rule in the church. Now how you going to tell me to live my life when you didn't let me come in the church and bring the devil with me? Now, when, now okay, you got to remember what I'm saying. Now what you going to preach to me? That I'm gonna believe. Yes. Now, what you gonna tell me to keep me on fire for the living Lord Jesus? And you didn't let that mess go on? More than one occasion. And I'm sitting here, man. I'm like, what in the world is going on here? And I said, I thank God for order. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I, I thank God for boundaries. Hallelujah. Now we come up in here and we go crazy for the Lord. Hallelujah. That's what you're supposed to do. Because he's worthy of praise. He's worthy of worship. Remember the object, the center of my worship is the Lord Jesus Christ. Not so that I can be seen or like, oh, he learned a new dance step. No, man. Hallelujah. It's to give God glory. It's to give God praise. Hallelujah. That's why we do what we do. But you can, you can guarantee Pastor ain't gonna let us put on no worldly rap song to get the young teens motivated. Pastor ain't gonna put on some old secular love song, hallelujah, in the church house to get you motivated. That's strange fun. If you can't get motivated off the word of God, if you can't get motivated off the real praise of God, then it's something wrong with you. I'm going to be affected. Right. They got to see something different. They, they got to see a difference. Yes. They, they got to. Hallelujah. And I'm like, man, okay, okay. So I calmed down a little bit, boy, but it, it messed with me about 30 minutes. I'm like, oh, Lord, for, but I was hot. I was hot, not that I'm anybody or whatever, but I'm just saying, because I know the God I serve is a holy God, because I know the God I serve. Yes. Hallelujah. And that ought to, man, that, man, you see stuff like that, that ought to grieve you. You know, I heard about it, but when I saw it, man, I could not, I couldn't believe it. Going on in the church. And I'm just shaking my head. I say, what? Mm-mm. And I, I just, that's why I'm telling you, I thank God for what we got here. Hallelujah. We don't got thousands. Hallelujah. Barely got hundreds. But I tell you, give me Jesus. Let me go somewhere. I can feel the power and the presence of God. Let me go somewhere. I can feel the move of God. That will challenge my life. That will cause me to walk humbly before this God. You can have all that. We're going to see where you be in two years. We're going to see where you be at in three years. I want my worship to be pure. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, brother. Amen. We're dealing with the things of God here. Yes. See, you can't play games. You can't have mixture and all that. Amen. That's why people in the mess they in, they don't know what's right. right. They don't know what's wrong. Right. And then you got the, the, the overseers of the church leading them into it. All right. Come on. Amen. We in trouble. Somebody get the Lord a hand clap of praise. That's why I said, the object of my worship, the center of my worship, we're going to keep our eyes on Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to keep our eyes on him. Because when you keep your eyes on him, they're going to keep you 
on the straight and narrow. They're going to keep you on the right path because it's all centered in Jesus. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Praise God. Now, when you say worship here, the whole congregation is called to participate in worship. It was never meant for a select few. That's one thing we got to understand. It, it worship unto God is it's not meant for a select few. Hallelujah. If you're on the back row, you come up to the front row and give God glory. If you're in the middle row, you come up to the front row. And, and it's not meant for a select few. We were created to worship God. We were created to praise God. Now what we have to understand is when we worship God, hallelujah, this allows me to draw close to him. When we give God glory, this is cultivating a relationship, intimacy, if you would. This allows me to draw close to him. Hallelujah. And I want to be close to him. I, I want to desire him. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is a relationship. I, I, I need to be. I need to be close to him. There's a difference. Hallelujah. If you, you wander around and you you wondering why there's a distance in your life. You're wondering why you don't feel them like you used to. Well, have you worshipped? When was the last time you praised him? When was the last time you gave him glory? When was the last time you just said thank you? Hallelujah. So if there's a distance, it's not his fault. We created it. When we created the separation, we created But God is here tonight to tell you, come on back. You don't got to stay a far off no more. Come on back into the presence of God. You don't got to stay far after you. You can come on up in here and get all the Jesus you need. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. I, 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 can't, I can't stay away too long. Hallelujah. I can't stay far, far too long. Hallelujah. I, I got to get to her. I, I got to feel him. Hallelujah. I, I, I got to touch him. Hallelujah. I got to feel that embrace one more time. Hallelujah. Because there is a protection in your worship. That there is a protection there. I'm, I'm holding on to you, Lord. I, I need you. I want you in my life. I'm going to lift my hands and give you glory. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. I ain't going to keep you long tonight. It's going to be fast and furious. But I'm just telling you, don't you let nothing take your praise. Don't you let nothing take your worship. The thing is, you, you know I can say that. It's easy to say that. Hallelujah. It's easy to say, don't let, don't let this. Hallelujah, Bubba. See, you gotta, you gotta own it for yourself. Right, how, how important is it to you? That's my lifeline. That, that's my lifeline. Hallelujah. So, so you ain't got to make me worship. I ain't got to make you worship when it's your lifeline. That, that is not something that is an option. It is a necessity. Do you hear what I'm saying? It's, it's not an option. Hallelujah. It's a necessity. When I say necessity, this is needful. Right. I, I need this. I need, I need to worship. I need, I need to praise. I need to give God glory. I need to bless His name. I need to lift my hands. I need to shout praise. I need to. I need to. Hallelujah. And when you speak of worship, this is an expression of reverence and adoration of God. When you come up in here and you give God worship, this is letting him know, hey, I adore you, Lord. Lord God, I reverence you. So I'm going to get off the throne. See, that's the problem. So we on the throne. Instead of God being on the throne, we on the throne. And when things don't go our way, we want to have a pinnacle. Because it ain't going to live this way. Or, you know, yeah, because we on the throne. Yes, sir. 
And sometimes when we sit on the throne and when God is not in his rightful place, that's when the praise falls. I'm going to talk to you about that in a minute. All right. But you get God in his rightful place. You get God on the throne in your life. You ain't going to have no problem coming up in here giving God glory. You ain't going to have no problem coming up in here worshiping because God is in his rightful place. An expression of reverence and adoration of God. Hallelujah. Turn with me. Turn with me real quick, church. Psalm 99, verse 5. When you have it, say, I got it. All right, now. The object of my worship. It says in Psalm 99, verse 5, Exalt ye the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. For he is what? Holy. Hallelujah. Now I want you to look at this word here, worship here. Hallelujah. Worship here in the Hebrew is shaka. Hallelujah, which means to lay prostrate, to bow down, to humbly beseech, do reverence. You can find that in Strong's number 87812 so you don't think I'm making up nothing. Hallelujah, but I'm laying prostrate. I'm bowing down. I'm, I'm giving this God due reverence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Since I'm coming up in here and I'm worshiping God, it ain't going to be something. It's going to be red hot. It ain't going to be no lukewarm. It ain't going to be no land to sit. It's going to be red hot. Because I'm giving him reverence. Somebody give the Lord a hand. Clap a praise. See, you got to understand, my brothers and sisters, you can't let a cloud just come over you. Right? You can't just let that cloud of lukewarmness sit on you. You can't let that lay on the sea and spirit just take hold of you. Right, amen. You got to shake it off. Come on. Right. And you know, some say, well, I'm just shy. Okay. I'm just shy. You know, that, that, that really ain't me to be all demonstrative like that. Okay. You know, I wasn't raised in this thing. Hallelujah. I'm a little bastard. You know, we had a little wiggle to us. You know. <laughs> But when I got in this thing, Holy Ghost and fire, you give me the fire. Because once you've been in the fire, the smoke just won't do But you know, if I got to go praise it all by myself, I'm giving God to pray. If I got to go praise it all by myself, I'm going to get up off that pew. And I'm going to move. I'm going to get up. Don't be looking around trying to see who's going to move or not. You move. Right. Right. You create the fire. Right. You create some fire. Right. Somebody give the Lord a hand, clap of praise. Right. Yeah, I used to sit there. I used to sit there, and I'm not saying I'm the example of praise and worship, but I'm going to talk to you. I used to be right there with Libby and his disciples. Come up in here, got saved, living for the Lord. And I used to sit right there now. You know, pastor preaching the word of God. I'm just sitting there looking at him. I've been in the church about a year now. I say, okay, man. I'm looking at him. I'm like, okay, I need to. I ain't even saying nothing. I'm just sitting there like, man, there's something more God is requiring me to do. Yes. Hallelujah. And pastor preached the word of God on fire like he is now. And he'll just look at me sometimes like, how to move? And he kind of, <laughs> but he won't say nothing to me directly, you know. So I'm just, okay. I got a list sense. <laughs> I'm still sitting there. Hallelujah. He said, we got to give God glory. And you know, just like, man. And he's kind of looking. He's like, ah, you know, I right, boy, back to boy, he get out there. That's right. He's like, we got to give, you know. And he, he come back. And then in myself, I decided to get up off that pew one day. All right. And I gave God a hallelujah. Like I never did. I will always talk to you. I just got up. I just decided to get up off that pew. And I said hallelujah. And as loud as I could. And I said hallelujah. Something happened. And I said oh man. Oh I felt something. Kind of scared me. But, but I felt something. 
but I, I felt some deliverance. Yeah. I felt some victory. Yeah. I felt some change on the inside. Yeah. And I said, Hallelujah! Boy, yeah. next day, you know, I come up out that pew, boy, and I'm right here. I'm like, Glory! 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 Conversations. And he told me, he said, Brother, I was coming after you. So I was coming after you. Not you, but I was I was coming after this old spirit, that old lay of the sin spirit, trying to get on it. I said, Well, I, I thank God for you. And I can stand before you tonight with victory on the inside. Somebody get a Lord a hand, cap of praise. Oh, yeah. So if you ever become a praiser, all right, all right. or if you ever become a worshiper, you ain't going back. Yeah. I, I ain't no way. Right. When you feel what I feel, yeah. hallelujah. When you feel when you, when you experience it. Yeah. Hallelujah. I can tell you my experience, yeah. I can tell you my experience. But when you experience it yourself, uh, right. yeah. hallelujah, you're going to move in here. Yeah. Somebody get a Lord a hand clap of praise. But I'm just telling you, I mean, you just can't let that cloud get a hold of you. And it might not be in your personality or whatever the case may be. Okay. See, see, let me tell you something. We gotta have the correct attitude in regards to worship. You gotta have the correct attitude in regards to worship. Are you, are you like, man, I better lift my hands. You know, pastor don't say something. <laughs> oh, I better give a little hallelujah clap about five times in a row. They'll know I'm all right. No! All right. What's your attitude right. when you come up in here? Do you want to give a go? Do you want to bless his name? Right. Are you excited about being in the church house tonight? Do you want to give a go? I'm telling you! What is your attitude regarding worship? So you gotta understand when God is the center of it, your attitude gonna be right. When God is the center of your praise, your attitude gonna be right. Ain't nobody gotta make you. Ain't nobody gotta pump you up. Hallelujah, you gonna be there. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The correct attitude of praise. Your vision of God will determine how you see God. Your vision of God is going to determine how you see God, and that will cause you to praise Him. You listen to what I'm telling you. How do you see Him tonight? Is He God Almighty? Creator yes. of the heavens and the earth. Yes. Hallelujah. Do you see him that way? Hallelujah. Amen. King of kings. Yes. And Lord of lords, do you yes. see him that way? Amen. He is high and lifted up, and his strength fills the temple. So when you see God that way, he is a high God. So I gotta sing up some high praise. See if your vision right, the praise gonna be right because you send him the right way. But if he just a bad boy to you, y'all don't want me to preach. But if he just your bad boy, when you just ring your bell when you in trouble or when situations ain't going right, well I didn't get my million dollars last week, so I'ma just come and sit up on him. I'ma come. Oh, y'all don't want me. So I'm going to just come down and just sit on the praise. I'm going to just come down and sit on God. You the one missing out. 
You ain't hurt nobody That's but yourself. Right. Right. And knowing there's something on the inside of you telling you to cheat, right. jump. Right. Something on the inside telling you to leave. Right. Something on the inside telling you to get up. Right. And you fight at the whole service. Pour right. yourself out. If you're going to be tired, be tired because you did get up. If you're going to be tired, don't be tired. my worship. Yes, yes. And I love him tonight. Yes. I say I, I love him. Yes. Somebody yes. give the Lord a hand clap yes. for yes. I'm sitting here and I'm like, Lord, God has been so good. See, when you think about the goodness, the goodness of God in your life. Good. See, see, Hallelujah. When you think about how good he has been yes. to you yes. and your family, yes. when you think about how good he has been yes. in the situation yes. that you are currently facing, yes. and he still gives you the ability to stand. Yes. 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 Facing some hard things, yes. facing some temptations, Battle at the church. Jesus. Battle at the job. Jesus. Battle in the workplace. Good, Hallelujah. But there is something about Jesus. praise and worship Jesus. that elevates me above all that. Yes. Because see, you got to get high enough. You got to get high enough in the things of God. Well, all that meager. No, no. It, 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 don't, it don't get you like it used to. Hallelujah. It don't shut you down like it used to. It don't take that praise like it used to. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. The Lord trying to help somebody in this house. See, we got to understand the center of my wish. Hallelujah. Well, I'm in these four walls at home or on the job. I got to give them some glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Give them some praise, church. Yeah. And, and, and I was looking at this Hebrews 13, verse 15. You ain't got to turn there, but that's where I'm going. Hebrews 13, verse 15 reads, By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name. Don't tell me you love him. And you won't praise. Right. Don't tell me you love him and you won't worship. Because that is the fruit of your lips. That is something that can be seen. Hallelujah. And if you come up in here and you are mute, that is not demonstrating to God or the church that you love him. What's the old saying? Actions speak louder than words. Right. You ain't moved in three weeks, but you love the Lord. Woo! How, how does that work? All right. Don't mind. It don't. Hallelujah. Sometimes you're going to have to give a sacrifice of praise. Well, what you mean, Brother Lemons? Well, you know, things just ain't going well. Hallelujah, anyhow. Well, you know the money kind of low. Hallelujah, anyhow. I'm sick of my body. Hallelujah, anyhow. I'm going to get out. I'm going to be a boss. Sacrifice of praise, and see that's what it's gonna mean. So and you gotta give a sacrifice of praise, Hallelujah. and you hurt it in your mind. Emotionally messed up. Don't know what's going on. That's what it is. Messed up. Yeah. 
fighting battles on every front. Enemy that threw everything at your kitchen sink, two couches, and a table. But you still got enough Holy Ghost yeah. to still come up in here and lift up his name and give God some glory. A sacrifice. A price. It ain't all when things going well. I thank God for the good. Oh, come on now. I like, yeah, I like peace. Hallelujah. I like joy. I don't want to be in warfare all the time. No. So I ain't, I ain't mad at you. Who that sweat stain one? <laughs> Hallelujah. So I don't want to be in conflict all the time. Right. But sometimes your situation ain't going to be, con you know, conclusive, you know, for you to praise right. if we look at it in the worldly way. Amen. But the Bible says, Ooh. I will bless the Lord and oh. his praise shall be in my mouth. So Hallelujah. Yeah. Telling you right there, it don't matter what you face, it don't matter what you're going through. I will bless the Lord at all times. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. See, sometimes we got too many distractions. You got too many distractions. You got too much pulling on you. You got this pulling on you, got this. This pulling on you, hallelujah. When you come to church, you don't know where yet. Right. Hallelujah, but you can't let that yes. distract you. Mm -mm. Whatever it may be, financially, emotionally, whatever. Whatever that distraction may be. Hallelujah, tonight, you can't let it take your praise. Hallelujah, tonight, you can't, you can't let it take your worship. So you got to understand, missed opportunities. Listen to me. Missed opportunities. Yes. We come up in here and we take the house of God for granted. We take the praise and worship for granted. And you don't give yourself that particular service. You don't give yourself. You don't give your worship. You don't give your praise like you know you should. And it's a missed opportunity. A missed opportunity for God to give you the victory. A missed opportunity for God to bring you up. A missed opportunity. Not the fact that God wasn't here, but because you didn't make yourself available. Because of that situation. Because of that test, that trial. You just said, well, I'm just going to kind of, I'm just going to kind of sit here tonight. I ain't going to really give myself too much. I've been a little tired. I've been fighting. I've been battling this. I've been battling that. No, sir. You do everything you can to get up off that pew. See, the enemy wants you to break down. Listen to what I'm saying. The enemy wants you to break down. But you ain't going to break down. You're going to get your breakthrough. Hallelujah. You ain't going to break down. You're going to get your breakthrough in Jesus' name. He wants you to break down. But let me tell you this. At the opportunity... If the opportunity presents itself for you to worship and praise and you refuse to get your breakthrough, then you headed for a breakdown. Hear what I'm telling you. If the opportunity presents itself for you to praise and worship and you refuse that opportunity, you headed for a breakdown instead of a breakthrough. Because it's right there for you. You just got to yield to it. You got to get up. You got to move and lay hold of it. No, I'm getting my victory tonight. I'm getting my deliverance tonight. I'm not leaving here the same way I came in. Somebody get a Lord a hand clap. 
worship, you're going up. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Best believe it. When you praise and you worship, you're going up now. Yes. Hallelujah. You've been yes. carrying death with you all week. Yes. But when you begin to exalt the house, God that we serve, when you begin to exalt his name and you begin to bless his name, ooh, something's happening. I'm going up. My emotions are going up. Hallelujah. The way I see him is going up. I'm going up. I'm going up tonight. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm going up. I'm going up. Read it when you tell them. I'm going up tonight. There is a going up that is taking place. I'm, 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 tired, I'm tired of being down. Hallelujah. I, I want to go up. I, ooh, hallelujah. Shake yourself. Hallelujah. Why I saw that song, Lord, light a fire again. Lord, light a fire here. Yes, Lord God, I don't want to be dead. I don't want to be wet wood. When I come up in here, Lord, set me a fire here. Set a fire on the inside. Lord, let me burn. Let me burn. Let me burn. Let me burn. Let me burn for you. Lord, light a fire here. Like I once was, let my prayers be red hot. Yeah. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap. Yeah. Lord, light a fire here. Yeah. Hallelujah. So I want my breakthrough. I don't want to break down. The power of praise. The power. Now, you, now I'm going to tell you this. Have you seen anybody in the church that's a praiser or a worshiper? They pretty stable. Because praise and worship keeps you. Mm. It keep you lined up. Okay, okay. I, I, I'm facing this. Okay. I got this test. I got this enemy fighting. Hallelujah, Lord. I'm standing before you one more time. My eyes on you. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm shaking. I've been hit. I've been bruised a little bit. Hallelujah. But God, I'm going to give you this glory. I'm going to give you the praise. Let's do all. Again, worshiping was defeating you. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Jesus. You, you take your eyes off the living Lord yes, Jesus. Oh, and yes. then you start showing obesity Hallelujah. and reverence to that thing that's destroyed. Because your worship, your worship of misplaced worship. Misplaced worship. You worshiping the wrong thing. And if you ain't worshiping God, it, it ain't no benefit. Yeah, you got a lot of money in the bank. Mm, mm. But how's my worship? How's my praise to the living Lord Jesus? How's my relationship? How, what's your intimacy level? Hallelujah. Oh, okay. mm, mm. Just give me Jesus. Yes, yes, just give me Jesus. Yes. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. I'm, 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 about to come. I'm about to come to a close, but the object of my worship. Let me tell you something. January 9th, 2019, a word came forth in this house on Wednesday night. I'll never forget it. It was issues behind us in 2019. And the word of God came forth how that lady had issues. She was dealing with loss of blood, etc., etc. But it was on such a high level. And she, she touched the hem of this garment, the seat seat. Hallelujah. And, and she, was, she was made whole. Man, I grabbed a hold of that word in the spirit. Hallelujah. And I, and I touched the hole of this garment. I, I touched the seat seat. And I'm telling you right now, right here in the spirit, God touched me and he made me whole in my body. He made me whole in my mind. 
He made me whole in my emotions. Yeah. And I have been walking in a victory that I have never experienced before in my life. Thank you. Yes. My faith Hallelujah. has increased, Pastor God. Stuff that used to rock me don't rock me. There is a confidence God has given me in the word of trust. No matter what hell looks like, no matter what I'm best, I know my God is with me. I don't care what the bank account looks like. I don't care what the world says. Issues behind me in 2019. And man, I begin to cry uncontrollably. I never cried like that, church. And I felt God like I never felt. And I'm just like, man, something happened to me in the spirit. And I tell you that to give you glory. Because I don't want to be the only one with victory. I don't want to be the only one, hallelujah. I want you to have a victory. I want you, church. So you better believe it when I tell you. What beat me up last year, I ain't going to let it take my place this year. belongs to God. So you got to understand. Yes. I'm walking in that world. That's, that's a reality yes. to me. Yes. What took my praise last year ain't going to take it this year. In Jesus' name. That depression that caused me to sit that one sir, it can't have it this year. That birth that caused me to fold my arms, it can't have it this year. In Jesus' name. behind us in 2019. So I'm walking. You got to walk it, man. You got to own it. You, you got to believe it, man. If you want to be made whole, you can be. Ain't no devil in hell can stop it. So I'm walking, man. I ain't letting family distract me. I ain't letting money distract me. I ain't letting worry get a hold of me. I ain't letting the pressure not go let it. Yeah. Yeah. Now you got to understand something. All right. Come on. I'm not going to be the prey for the enemy to devour. Right. Oh, wow. That enemy running around, he the hunter. Wow, wow. Exactly. And he wants you to be the hunter. Oh, wow. When you look at the animal kingdom, it's either predator or prey. I ain't going to be the prey, partner. Yeah. Hallelujah. If the snake running around, slithering on the ground, and if he see an animal and it's not moving, what he going to do? He going to try to devour it. So you better move tonight because the enemy trying to devour you. You got to let it go. I'm still alive. I'm still kicking. I'm still fighting. I'm still fucking. You got to let that enemy know you still in the fight. I move, but I'm moving tonight. Somebody give the Lord a hand. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta move. Because yeah. if you don't move, yes. the enemy gonna try to devour. Yes. Yeah. Because dead things don't move. Right. Yeah. Dead things don't move. When you're alive, it's some vitality yeah. about you. The man of God said something weeks ago and he just stuck it to my spirit so I can't take credit for what I'm finna share with you. He said one thing. He said when the praise fall, when the praises fall, demons rise. When you stop praying, when you stop praising, when you stop worshiping, that's when the demons gonna rise in your life. Because there is no exaltation that is taking place. There is no more praise being lifted up. Don't you know there is praise? There is power in your praise? If you get up off of that depression, get up off of the beat. Get up, you can't have me. You can't have me. Get up off of it. If you got to get violent with your walk. Time out for coming up in here all past 
of all the time. Time out for that. Amen. That's been your norm for years. You're going to have to do something different or you ain't going to make it in this season. I don't care who you is. Because in this battle, you're going to have a, you're going to need an end time worship. Something that's going to stand. So this sitting here, you know, just coasting and all that, okay? Okay? God telling you tonight, okay? You keep doing that and see where you find yourself. Right. Well, you know, I don't, okay. I don't need to move, all right? All right. Because when the praise falls, demons rise. Wonder why you've been fighting craziness. Fighting craziness, man, just coming from. Where's the worship? And let me tell you something, I ain't just talking about her at the house, man. It's all right to go home and book a loop for Jesus. Man, that's the boy. Man, when God meets you in your kitchen, it blows my mind every time. Man, I'm in the kitchen praying and I'm worshiping. I'm trying to be an example to my little ones. Because I can't tell them to be on fire and I'm up here half cocked and little boy. Well, you on the platform. So, that don't mean nothing. You need service. So, that don't mean you got to get in the prayer room. You got to get some praise going. Because the same enemy that's after you, he's after me too. So I got to have some worship. Right. And I believe this word tonight. I believe it with my I believe it. So, we got to change. We got to change. I, I made up my mind January 9th, 2019. Issues behind it. Thank you, man of God. So sister to the spirit. Thank you for that word. Because it, it, it changed. Something happened, man. There's a, I'm, I don't want to say a cockiness, but there's a boldness in my God that took hold of me. Right. Walking around here, yes. carrying now. I love Jesus. Apostolic, Pentecostal, Holy Ghost feel. Tongue talking. Yes. Want the world to know about it. Yes. Ain't time out to be playing church. Yes. You can play church for a little while. Yes. Woo. You can play for a little while. Yeah, come to church. You know, I'm just coming, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, we see. Who you think you fooling? Ain't your judge, jury, or execution, but I'm just saying, who you think you fooling? You sure ain't pulling the wool over God's eyes? I love you, Lord. I ain't praying. Come on, brother. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let your worship be unto him. That's what I'm saying. See, it got to be an individual thing. Right. See, when we what we need to be individually, oh, it's going to be all right. Amen. Yes, amen. Because I'm where I need to be individual. Right. You where you need to be individual. Right. Do you hear what I'm saying? Praise God. Amen. Praise God. We, we yell all day for the wrong things, but when we come to the house of God, amen. there's no. Amen. See, I don't understand that. Uh-uh. No. No, we, we can't do that. Hallelujah. Because he is the creator. Amen. He created me and I can't give the creator glory. We got some problems. You can't praise the one that just gave you breath. The devil is alive. I'm going to sit out and I'm going to give him glory. I'm going to sit out and I'm going to give him praise. The devil is alive. The enemy don't like it. That's all right. I'm covered by the blood. Hallelujah. I'm covered. I'm covered by the blood. 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 So, the object of my worship, I hope it changed, kind of gave us a little perspective on things, you know. So when we come up in here, yeah, yeah, we've been... Hallelujah, we've been fighting. Mm. Some of you, boy, you soldiers. Like Sister Christina right. said, man. Right. Just come to the house of God. Yes. And you hear them. Yes. You hear it. Don't nobody know about the troubles in your life, what you're facing. You just hear them. Thank you. Give it God glory. Yes. 
You just heard praise to God. You just heard giving God glory. God bless you. Let me tell you something. God is not going to ignore those that call on you. That's right. You can walk that man. God is not going to ignore those that call on you. I've seen it over and over in my life. It might not come when you think it should come. But it's definitely going to show up. And when it show up, it's going to blow your mind. Be like, God, you did that for me? God did it for you. But you got to qualify for blessing. That's a different message, though. Ooh, you got to qualify for blessing. It just don't happen. Right. Right. Amen. I'm going to go on. But, Romans 12, 1, and I'm closing. Pray the word of God has been a blessing to you. It has blessed me. Amen. The God we serve is worthy of praise. Absolutely worthy of praise. Because we got to understand one thing. Yo, 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 yo need or yo want. They don't get God attention. Yeah. She's throwing it at me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Worrying and murmuring and complaining, that don't get God attention. He's sitting there like me. Don't you know who I am? Right. He on the cattle, on the hill. I mean, he got he, he sweet my tea. I like that. He sweet my tea and butter my bread. Yeah. Y'all know we like bread, especially with a lot of butter on it, boy. Anyway. <laughs> But I know where my blessing's coming from. If I stay faithful to God, it's coming. Amen. Hallelujah. It might, it, it's, it's hard sometimes, but it, it's coming. Amen. So I got to praise him in advance. Amen. See, you got to praise him like it's already done. Amen. Hallelujah. You, you got to worship him like it's already done. Amen. You know, I'm, I'm just going to wait until I see my miracle. No, I'm praising him right now. Because my miracle is on its way. I ain't waiting. See, that's no contrary to how the world is, man. You're like, oh, man, I ain't saying thank you until I get that check. No. I ain't got it. But I'm giving God glory right now. Amen. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Somebody give the Lord I'm coming to a close. Oh, I enjoyed you. I enjoyed you. I, I enjoyed you tonight. I, I enjoyed preaching the word of God tonight. I, I enjoyed his, his presence tonight. I, I enjoyed. Hallelujah. Yeah. Pray the word of God has been a blessing to you. Romans 12, 1 reads, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, Acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. See, one thing you got to understand, worship is more than a song or, 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 or a music video you pop in or whatever. It's a lifestyle. Right. right. Your lifestyle is worship. Worship, Amen. worship unto God. Hallelujah. Your, how you living is worship. Amen. It's saying more than any song could say. Right. Yes, Lord. Worship is a lifestyle. Are we living right? The Bible says they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So if I come up in here and I'm worshiping God but my life ain't right, we're missing an aspect of it. Hallelujah. And you might be walking in the truth. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. You might got the truth right, but your spirit, you dead as a donut. Right. See, we got to have it together. Right. See, when we come up in here, uh, uh, he's looking for true worship. Yeah. He's looking for someone to worship. Yeah. You know, true worship, yeah. pure worship. Hallelujah. Amen. We ain't trying to come up in here in no strange fire. That bring the judgment of God on you. I ain't trying to. Uh -uh. I'm dealing with stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't want God to judge me. You in trouble. Yes. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. So the lifestyle... Gotta be right. Yes, holiness is still required. I don't care what these old TV preachers talking about. You can live any kind of way. Sit up on the church man, come back, gave a confession. He was a homosexual. I'm a homosexual minister. 
And the church over there clapping. And I'm looking like, what in the world? That ain't giving God glory. Right. What Bible you read? Did you go to Leviticus? Did you did you read about all this man? You ain't gonna lay with mankind. Come on now. Where all this you done skipped over? Amen. What you preaching from? What, what Bible you preaching from? When you see that verse, then you gonna skip about seven chapters. Well, the, the love, we're going to talk about love tonight. No, you can't talk about love without dealing with sin. I can't say I love you, and I'm not dealing with the sin in your life. Come on now. Amen. Boy, these people, boy, they believe anything. Man, sitting up in church, guy as the sun is bright. And I ain't against, you don't understand what I'm saying, but I'm just going to call it like it is. If it's a duck, it's a duck now. And you know they, they don't like they don't like this kind of way. You being a, a bash and all that. If you can be openly gay, I can be openly holy. That's what we can do. If you can be openly gay, I can be openly holy. You can miss me with all that. Cause I end up in hell the same way you will if I don't live right. So if you can be openly gay, I can be openly holy. God bless you. Cause I'm living. I'm living for this people. And lost their mind, boy. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap. So worship is a lifestyle. I saw a young man, I, mean, I was at work, man, quick testimony. I got to give God glory on this, Pastor. I got to give God glory. I saw a young man, he knew me, he knew me, B.C., before Christ. Like when I was like 13, 14, I mean, he really knew me, boy. Young, young in the mess. And I saw this cat probably 20 years, Pastor. Old friend of mine. And I saw him. We was doing some service on his vehicle. And I, I said, man, is that? I ain't gonna call his name. But anyway, I said, man, is that? And I'm, you know, I'm in, the, I'm in the service side, so man, we stay busy. Boy, you got people calling you, et cetera. And I'm like, man, I gotta just take time out to say hi to him. Cause I ain't seen him in years, Pastor. And I, I walked up to him, I said, say, what's going on? And he looked, and he said, Jonathan, is that you? I said, it's me, man, what's going on? <laughs> And he said, man, how you doing, man? You looking good. What you got going on? And the first, I ain't saw him. Check this out. I'm going to tell you, boy. People know you when you think they don't know you. <laughs> Remember, I ain't saw this in at least 20 years. And, and, and he said, I ain't saw him in like 20 years. And the first thing he said, you still going to Carter's church? I say, well, yes, I am. <laughs> I'm like, how this cat know him? I go to Carter's church. <laughs> and I ain't saw him in almost 20 years. Hallelujah. Listen to what I'm saying. I say, yes, I do. I still go to Carter's church. Been baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost, evidence of speaking in tongue, apostolic. Yeah, yeah, blood bought. Yes, sir. Been going there for almost 19 years, about to be 20. And tears. Welled up in his eye. He's like, man, that's awesome. Because what happened was it, was, it was some years. There was a conference given at a church many, many years ago. And I remember myself, me, me, I went, Pastor went, some other brothers in the church had went. And um, we had went to that conference, and his brother saw me there. And he like, Jonathan, you, you Holy Ghost filled? You baptized in Jesus? I said, yes, sir, I am. His brother had saw me. Because, see, they know what a mess I was. Hallelujah. And when his brother saw me that day, he told his, you know, his brother, hey, man, Jonathan, living for the Lord, and, man, he, 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 he a Pentecostal like us. You know, he apostolic like us. That's what he told his brother. So that stuck with him all these years. And when he saw me, he said, man, you still going to Carter's church? I say, I sure am. And he's just like, wow, how? How in the world? Can you be in one church for almost 20 years? Amen. And it, it, it just boggled the mind to him. I say, say, man. And he, and he asked me, he said, man, how? He said, how did you get into the church? <laughs> he asked me, Pastor. He said, man, he said, you, you, you got to just tell me. 
how did you get in the church? I said, man, I, I was out there in that world. And we sitting there, I'm trying to sell them some cabin air filters and stuff. I'm trying to, you know. I said, say, man, these filters dirty. Hey, man, you need, you know, replace these and all that. They said, no, man, I'm good or whatever. And they're like, man, how you get in the church? Oh, I told my guy, little old assistant, she helped me. I said, here, go take care of this. I'll be over there momentarily. He don't moan. I got to take care of something. So we right there. He, we sitting in the middle of the showroom. Hear what I'm telling And he say, uh, man, how did you get in the church? I said, well, let me tell you. And I gave him my testimony. And as I began to give my testimony, uh, the Holy Ghost hit me. What started, I, was, I, I wasn't whispering, because I ain't ashamed of the gospel of Christ. I wasn't whispering, but the Holy Ghost hit me, and I got loud and loud. And I said, you know what? When God found me, not only did he find me, he brought my wife in, too. And it was just like, man, that's awesome. That's awesome, Jonathan. And I said, man, God delivered me from drugs. God delivered me from addictions. Man, I was out there bad. Man, I, I was a loser. I didn't have nothing, didn't know nothing. But when I told God, yes, I meant it. Let me tell you. Oh God, yes, I meant it. When I told God, yes, I meant it. And he just sitting there and I told him, hey, you got to excuse me. I get a little excited about this. And I'm getting mad and I'm like in the middle of the showroom. And you got people on their iPads and they reading books. And I remember this lady, she was in the, uh, she was in the recliner we got. And she reading her little book while she turned around. She's like, what's going on over here? And, you know, they acting like they weren't paying attention. You know, they kind of looking up and all that. But I didn't care. Hallelujah. I'm going to take this opportunity to give God some glory. I'm going to take this. Yeah, this real. This real me. This real. This real. This real me. And the folks looking at me like I was crazy. I didn't care. Because I want them to know yeah, yeah. about this awesome God Hallelujah. that I live for. Somebody give the Lord. Yeah. And then I tell you, after that, that whole, whole atmosphere changed. Hallelujah. Oh, people looking like, man, this woman. <laughs> crap. I say, you know what, man? My boss probably looking for me right now. But God bless you with such a uh, uh, it's just good to see you. And he said, man, it's just so good to see you doing well. Yes, so, man, I'm doing do well. well. Amen. So we've been Beautiful. there, you know, for reference, I say, you want to call the call to church, whatever. I've been there almost 20 years. I ain't looked back. Amen. Because, because I found an answer. Right. If you find an answer, what you going to keep looking for? Right. And, and if you found deliverance and victory, what you going to keep looking for? Right. Well, what you looking for? Well, you got everything you need right here. Right. And I was able to share my testimony, church, and I believe that that testimony uh, not only impacted him, but everybody that around us that was ear hustling, playing like they wasn't. Amen. Everybody else that was ear hustling, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, somebody heard about the power of God. Hallelujah. That's Amen. Somebody give God some praise. Say, you want to God, he's going to want, he's going to take care of you. Amen. Then come to find out, you know, he got a, you know, Pentecostal background. You know what I'm saying? So, hallelujah. Maybe, it'll, you know, reignite him or whatever. I don't know. I just did with God. You know when God set up on you. And you try to quench that. Oh, no. And you'll walk away from that knowing you did wrong. But hallelujah, I gave in to it. It was Wednesday. It was Wednesday night. Boy, I tell you, I've been on cloud nine. Hallelujah, because I got to give God to see worship. Yeah. It's a lifestyle, man. Yeah. So I stand before you tonight. Full of victory. I pray you got some victory. I believe you do. Somebody stand to their feet and give God a praise and praise. I'm saying, church, don't never let the praise fall in your life. Right. Yes. Hallelujah. I pray I ain't go too long, Pastor. I want my attention. But I don't never let the praise fall in your life. The object, see, when you know who you worship, yes. when you know who, yes. mm -hmm. that, that make a difference. Yes. God bless you. Jesus. God bless you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God.
Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you, God, tonight. King of kings, the Lord of lords, you are worthy of our praise. Thank you, Lord, for your word tonight. Hallelujah. We lift up our voice unto you, God, tonight. King of kings and Lord of lords. Worthy of praise. Worthy of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Lord Jesus, on the fire and I sing you, Lord, Lord, tonight. Lord, we worship you and praise you tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Get your families and, and make your way to the front. The, the choir is going to sing this one more time. I want you to worship God in your family units. Worship God together. Amen. As they sing again, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, light a fire again. I feel the life begin. I'll stand and testify. Lord, new strength abounds in me. Revival set me free. I am brand new. You have called me to your table. You have called me by name. The hunger within my heart. I don't want to be the same. Lord. Let your power grow inside my heart, I know I will be changed. Lord, your glory will be shown, my life is not my own, I give it to you. seek you with all I am. I will find you in that secret place. Don't hide your face from me.
house, Lord, you'll keep your hand of protection upon them, Lord. We pray your blessing to be upon them. We pray, God, that you would grant peace unto our lives and grace in our lives. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. You're dismissed in the name of the Lord. Give God praise and worship in this house tonight.